Hi and welcome back. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Vince um, and thanks for stopping by. Uh, so a few videos ago, uh, I went through my blood test results and a couple of the results were out of the reference range. Um, I've had those tests done again. So what we'll do today is we'll look at what the results are of that second test. So this test was done in a different establishment and I've had to redact some of the names of the medical practitioners because I don't have their permission to use them and also some of the organisational details because some of them are uh, restricted or sensitive. Um, we're going to jump straight in the results. I'm only going to cover the stats of the results where the previous test um, I was outside of the reference range. Uh, Obviously, if I make a comment that's incorrect or I miss something or you see something that I haven't spoken about, as always, I normally get things wrong. Um, please feel free to make a comment below uh, and I'll answer um, with as honest an answer as I can. So without further ado, let's jump into the results. OK, so let's get straight into it. Um, <clears throat> first page. You can see the stats there now. Um, all these are in within reference range. Feel free to pause the video and then to move on um, as and when you're happy. Uh, and if you have any questions about anything you see on the screen, then again, please be feel free to um, ask in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, so the second page, you can see previously my A1C was 5.79. Um, which was putting me at increased risk and this term it's 5.5 so 5.5 which is now classed as healthy um, but obviously more reduction uh, is not an issue at all uh, something I would like to do uh, and then here the this one here at the top this was on the limit but you can see now it's 93.73 which is um, more or less in the middle um, or it's definitely below the higher end which is which is good and I think it's it's because I was probably taking too much creatine that uh, it bumped this level up and also the other levels which um, which gave me higher levels in the kidney issues area and this page now shows uh, before this level here was 162.41 here it's showing 3.98 because the measurement's different to the last one this measurement in the previous um, measurement which is milligrams per deciliter is 153.9 153.9 or 3.98 puts me here now as borderline but as you know, I'm not a big fan of just using LDL as one marker and one marker alone. Um, I don't subscribe to the, the good versus bad uh, cholesterol model. Uh, I know there's some of you are, and you believe that if you eat a specific diet, it lowers this number and therefore makes all your chances of getting um, heart attacks, etc. disappear. I think this is where we will have to agree to disagree. Um, this level here was uh, 2.63, which was high. Uh, it's now 1.26, which is within normal parameters, which again is good because this is a number that I did definitely want to get lower. Um, and I have now, which is good. Um, HDL, which is here, uh, this is normal at 1.45. Uh, and if you look at this number, it's higher than this number or this number is lower than this number which I've been told by a couple of people in the comments on a previous video this is a good marker to um, to look for as well uh, on to the next page um, some of these were borderline on the last assessment they're all now well within reference range and when I spoke to the doctor she said she was more than happy with all of these results um, 
especially in the, when they compared to other results, which had they both been bad um, or borderline would have made an issue. She said that these are all well within reference range and are all good. Um, the other things I checked, which were um, vitamin D, and I fell into the insignificant, insignificant, insufficient bracket for that. Uh, so I've started to take vitamin B3 and vitamin K2 supplements. Uh, and um, it's getting warmer here and I am spending more time outside. So I'm exposing myself to the sun. <clears throat> so I will check the levels again when I do a follow-up in six months. So that's it for the, the updated results. So those are the results. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Personally, I think they're all okay. And again, heading in the right direction. Um, we'll find out in six months because that will have been um, a good six months since I've been on one gram of NMN and one gram of resveratrol and one gram of TMG a day. So we'll have a look at what the results say in six months. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Uh, and as always, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.